hello guardians and welcome to Snowbreak containment zone we are breaking down the events for fogbound dream version events announcements so we won't have all of these events in one go this will be distributed from the start which is september 1st up until the last event ends on october 23rd we i will be classifying all of these events according to date and also guys if you want to have a review of the events happening on a specific date i will be putting these uh breakdown in the comment section and i will pin it there for your quick reference okay so starting off with the event here the first event would be the addition of chapter 11 fog bond dream so another chapter to our story Next up is going to be Honor's Bounty Event Shop. This is a special event shop just for the event itself. Also starting on the 21st. Then we have Into the Unknown Mist Event Task. Also starting the 20, uh, on the 21st of September. And the last for the first four is going to be Pursuing Embers Battle Stage. Also out on the 21st. Okay, we'll be skipping a couple of contents here, but we'll be resuming with, of course, the banner or the new banner for Five Star Haru. She's going to be out as well on the 21st. So this is most of you guys. You guys are mostly excited of this one. So it's happening on the 21st as well. And also for her pistol, the limited time weapon echo banner is also happening on the 21st. Okay, so next up is going to be new tracks on old paths. So limited time event login event also happening into the, on, on the 21st. And also the next one, you have memory chip limited time event also happening on the 21st. So we have a, the bulk of the events are happening on the 21st. Uh, but guys, we need to understand that the rest will be sprinkled all throughout the whole mon month of um the, ho the whole the, the whole month duration from september 21 up to october 23rd so next is going to be um i think we'll be getting uh the skins already for for haru and for free shahash on september 21st as well and we do have a reset on the pass which will be happening on the 21st as well. So those are the events. So that is roughly 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 events happening on the 21st. Plus we do have, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna mention this. We do have a conditional event happening on the 21st. If you guys uh, qualify for the, um, the qualifiers here, Spirited Event uh, Return Event, which is going to be Adjutant level reaches 30. If you are below that, uh, you can't participate in this event. And the number of consecutive days without logging in the game is less than 14 days. So more or less, if you've logged in continuously, I don't think no, no, this is, this is not less than, this is greater than or equal to 14 days. So if you've logged in 14 and up, then sorry, if you have not logged in for 14 days or up, then you cannot qualify for this event or you'll have to wait for this event to be active. Also, there's another qualifier here, more than 42 days since the last activation of the Spirited Return event. So again, this activates if you fulfilled all of the necessary activation or requirements posted here. So this will round out your event for September 21. The last one is conditional, however. But on September 22, the following day, we will be receiving another event, which is Endless Battle. Here, Cooperative Challenge Gameplay september 22 starting and the next one is uh, chasing light and shadow after this is going to ha be happening after you know after four days or five days so free exploration gameplay the um the one we mentioned in terms of um similar to open world with lots of um uh, what they call this lots of tasks and checkpoints so it's going to be happening four days after the it's going to be activating four days after the 24th okay so we're now on september 25th the next event is happening on 
October 9th. Foolish Mayhem Challenge Stages is opening on the 9th. So you will have to wait for a, a little bit longer for, um, you know, to get the next stage on the start of October. Then you have Shrouded City Sweep. This is happening on the 12th. So again, a lot of sprinkled events right after the main event. So please look out for those events. If you missed what I mentioned, I will put a pinned comment in this video for all of the chronological orders of these events so that you don't you have to miss all of them. Okay guys, so that is the um, roadmap for Snowbreak Fog Bond Dream. So it's happening on September 1st up to and ending on October 23rd for the last event. So hopefully you guys are satisfied with all of the recent update patch notes. Um, I just really was hoping for a fixed event that is uh, actually happening or that they should have put in the game because after these limited events, we will again revert to our regular programming for Snowbreak. So that is it, guys. What are your thoughts on Snowbreak and for this update, Fogbond Dream? Are you contented with all of the updates here? And give me your thoughts. So, Guardians, stay care, stay safe. This is the Warden, and I'm out of here.